Um, in my forthcoming collection, um, I have a sequence of tree poems called The Talking Tree Alphabet. Um, and they're partly a kind of takeoff from um, Ohm, the old Irish um, alphabet, also known as the Celtic tree alphabet, as the names of individual trees um, are ascribed to each letter. So while the poems are in part tied into tree folklore, they also have their roots in a personal myth-making and are full of family archetypes. This one's called Rowan. For her heart, the princess asked Finbar to fetch a branch of rowan berries blooming on the other side of the river, guarded by the one-eyed ogre. Her devoted lover swam across to the forbidden enclosure, where berries blinked a ruby necklace, small dancing flames on black-tipped wicks. The ogre came thumping towards him, wielding a knuckled cudgel, took one swing, thwacking the air, missed and toppled down with a wump on his back. Finbar, never taking his eye off the prize, climbed on the ogre's belly and bounced and jounced and plucked the thickest branch of finest berries and brought them back to his princess. He fed her the bittersweet, intoxicating seeds. Then, ringed within the blushing beads, they made love on the forest floor. Her feet took root in the earth. Inside her belly grew a tree of fire. Her arms gnarled and knotted into branches. Her hair flamed red and she vanished within the dark bark. Finbar went to fetch an axe to try and cut his princess out. But when he returned, a dozen other rowans had grown, and he wasn't sure which switch of the woods she was. The earth shook beneath him. A vast shadow swallowed the sun.